Is aware of this? Nope, Joel he's got the, the Pikachu, Pikachu going in. All right, so either Jolt is not aware of this, or he decides he's going to suck it up and stick to Pikachu anyway. Maybe he doesn't have a, a secondary that he feels super confident in, prepared for the Charizard matchup. So he's going into this, but he definitely told me. He does not like this matchup. So let us see. <laughs> this going to be interesting to watch this. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I'm already getting the charge projectiles from Charizard. Charizard has some crazy field pressure with the, all the multi-hits and the safety of his projectiles. Right. And the absolute monstrosity of a range he has. Tries to go for a nuzzle there and gets caught by a forward Y. There's a, there's a fire punch, but the spacing allowed it to be relatively safe there. <laughs> now it's just projectile spacing, both trying to find a way. And there's a fire punch. Ooh, catch oh, with the wow. flare blitz on the 8Y. And there's going to be a wake up counter, and it's just going to catch Jolts' jump here. There's going to be an Amoga. Jolts going to have to block here. This shield pressure goes for another flare blitz. There's going to be a counter. It's not going to be a crit because he wasn't fly stance. Mm -hmm. He's going to get him out of the corner a little bit, but Kano pushing him right back in. Charizard's got crazy long normals, and he's also got decently sized projectiles and flamethrowers and breaths and whatnot. So it's kind of hard to just get out of the corner here. Right. Jolts is struggling. He's just trying to throw out some normals that can maybe contest here. But, oh, nice jump, JX ooh, there. That was a big field phase from the win, because that took away a lot of that recoverable health. From and Charizard. now Jolts has burst. He has Jirachi on deck and the health advantage. Tides are turning here. But of course, we have Charizard's air mix-ups. Absolutely terrifying. He can burst attack in the air. One of the few characters to do so. There was a Volt Tackle. A lot of damage off. He has the synergy buff as well. Who catches him? Ooh, the air. Charging projectiles here. Now, Ten sudden, seconds left on the clock. Picano has to make some hard plays here. Goes mm -hmm. for the counter. He's going to get nuzzled for it. That's going to be a crit. <laughs> and that's going to take the first round going to Jolts here. Nice adaptations there. He, he tried to... Uh, retain his composure and not get too broken down by Charizard's crazy pressure both in field and in the corner in duel with those like massive multi hits and the huge normals off the tail and the flames. You just gotta be really careful. Nice CADC on the 4Y uh, and then getting a nuzzle punish here. Oh, gets the full charge JX there. It's gonna crush his count. We got a combo here into a fire punch. There's a Moga coming out here, but Jolt's gonna jump over and then Thunderbolt will cancel. There's gonna be a 5X into the Iron Tail. Cash in with 6Y. Play again, the Ooh, fire punch. Ooh, nice reaction. Nice though. CADC and CAs again. Jolts again having a commanding lead here. We have Picano going into burst. Jolts has bolts himself, but no Jirachi this time. Still no fear here going for a Volt Tackle. Doesn't get the uh, fa uh, face shift, however. There is Fire Punch into Flare Blitz here. Okay, Jolts walks forward a little bit and blocks again and is able to block Charizard's Synergy Burst. But his shield's running low. He oh, gets his shield break. broken by Fire Punch. There's going to be an Air Slash into a Seismic Toss. Oh my, that's scaling. A lot of scaling, though. Jolts is still in burst. Just lost it. There's a CADC fort into another CA. Catch him on the fire punch. And then another 5x. There's a Minamolga. Gonna catch with the speed debuffs. Gonna aim to close the gap a little Ooh, bit. Huge range, oh, though. The kind of bringing forward. this one back. We're looking pretty even. There's a CADC. There's gonna be a right there. there. Jirachi's up. Almost has meter, but eight seconds left on the clock. Picano has to get in now if he wants to take this round. There's, take a a risk. There's oh, gonna be a fire punch <laughs> on the nuzzle. And Picano takes that second round. He knew he had to make a play because the clock was not in his favor. <laughs> but he was able to get the fire punch. And even though Jolts went for the right option with the nuzzle there, technically with the attack triangle, that would have worked. But the fire punch attack frames came out too quickly and Jolts lost that round. He gets a JX here going into dual phase. Pops burst early. Trying to oh, get this double inferno. There's an AY. Catch him with six watt. <laughs> and then we got an uppercut into a bolt oh, tackle. Nice damage. Crazy too. damage. CA. Oh, try getting caught by the multi hits though. Hits him with the uh, JX. There's a new burst activation for Picano. It's going to jump over Jolt's burst and punish him with his oh, own what? burst attack. And it's going to <laughs> confirm. Very smart play from Picano right there. This is going to do a hefty chunk of damage. Oh, yeah. Brings him back down to half. And we're looking about even right now. Yeah. However, Picado is pretty much full meter right now. He has Emoga on deck. He's able to counter CA4 to oh. get a grab. We're going into dual phase. Still got burst here. Okay. He's going to get CA through that projectile and just dash back. All right, now burst is off, but Jolt has a bit oh, of a disadvantage. Six go. Huge the clap damage. right there. And he can still keep going. Oh, the my combo God. kept going. He caught him, and Picano <laughs> takes that first game. Man. Jolt was not able to deal with his Charizard Demon right there in that first game, and Picano was able to just barely, barely take that. Coming back from the depths of the abyss right there in that second round.
What a crazy close uh, timeout that he, that he almost got timed out there. He was able to fire punch it to the end and take that. And then the third round was pretty commanding in his favor. He make a lot of strong reasons. So we went back to character select screen. Jolt stuck to, uh, stuck to his character, so we might be seeing a cheer or a support switch. Mm -hmm. Picano still sticking to Emogra for every round thus far. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, we got Rodov. Oh, snap. Rodov and Togekiss. Get him out of the Come air. From Jolt here. He doesn't want to deal with the. He doesn't want the Bop Charm Jirachi. He'd rather have the air pressure with Rodov. Which is smart here. Goes to the CDC for a nuzzle. Gets it. We're getting follow up. Jack Giles. Seeing forward. Ooh, Fire Punch, but reacts against the Fire Punch with his own Volt Tackle. And the armor is going to work in his favor. Volt Tackles again. Catches the JX charge. Snoosha Y. Ooh, catches the CAs the entire forward Y and gets a crit there. Oh, the kind of fire punches out of that situation. Air slash into seismic toss. Good Pretty damage there. Damage. Yeah. All right, Joel's going in and burst here. Going to start Popping putting on the pressure. Rodom, but we got an Emoga call here. It's going to catch him with the speed debuff on reaction to Rodom. Oh, he tries wow. to grab to get out. A crazy move. Good stuff there from Jolts, just kind of low profiling under the mm -hmm. uh, uh, fire punch right there. Ooh, Jolts again using CA to his advantage. Rock smash, right? <laughs> the, uh, keeping those out there and uh, Bikano is struggling a little bit to deal with CA. So let's see what adaptations he can make to see for this second round here in game two. There's a forward wide, it's going to get CA'd again. Going back into a phase. CA's that, CA's forward, CA's all of the flare blitz <laughs> and caught right there. Jolts is making good advantage here. Of that CA. Oh, there's a fire punch. Air slash into another seismic toss. It's gonna do some decent damage. Going down to 406 here. It's oh, here. Six catch X. him. I'll wake up there. Not blocking. All right, he's gonna pop burst. Attempted a seismic toss there from Picano. There's gonna be another Mogul call. He's gonna punish with burst activation, and that's going to catch. Picano's taking that huge fist. Oh, yeah, definitely. Bring down the 157. Picano does Ooh. have burst on his side too. He's gonna have to hold that chip damage. The multi hits tries to fire punch through the wall of electricity. Doesn't get through it. Fire punches again. Now he's gonna pop his own burst. Schultz has rolled him on deck. He's gonna use it. Oh, okay. He oh, uses the move. That's gonna throw him into the air, and now he's gonna get punished for it. That's what Rotom does. Nice cancels for the combos here. Oh yeah. For uh, from Jolt. Now he's got a speed debuff as well. Taking some damage here. Ha oh, there's a burst activation. Let's see where Jolts. Oh, Jolts is actually right out of range. So he wasn't able to get hit by anything. There's a fully charged CA there. And then fire punches, but gets his fire punch CA'd. And then gets his oh flare blitz CA'd. And again, there's a crit right there. Oh, oh nice full wow. tackle reaction on the fire punch. Fire punch does not pierce, so you can armor through it. <laughs> Smart play there from Jolts. He was able to take that pretty commandingly. Oh, yeah. Uh, with 2 0 in rounds there for game two. I think the main adjustment there, I think he was seeing that Picano's uh, more times than not just picking an aggressive option on wake up and he was able to you know use these five wise to be able to react to it yeah if he's hitting armor then he can just go ahead and cancel into the uh, volt tackle right it's a really smart plays here coming out from jolts i wonder how he would do if he fully charged ca on wake up on picado's end right. and seeing how the string how he would react We got a brakes. Yeah, he's switching over to the brakes in now. Uh, from Picano. Oh, yeah. Probably should have noticed that earlier. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, it looks like Picano's going off. Charles are probably not liking that 2-0 uh, in rounds there. And Jolts went back to Jirachi Kario, realizing if he's going to switch off Charizard, I probably don't need to have as much air pressure anymore. Not Jirachi Kario, Jirachi Pika. <laughs> I'm so used to putting Jirachi and Lucario together. <laughs> okay, nice. Sidewise there. But yeah, right now Jolts actually took a lot of damage here. It's gonna be fully charged CA from Picano there. He's, just gonna, he's gonna let it rip after the entire charge. He's not even gonna punish. We got a lot of COs here from P Picano as well. Oh, ooh, nice ooh. dash back on the. Uh, Another boomerang. He's been getting those boomerangs. Oh, that's already three in this first game here. There's an 8x. Oh, we got a burst activation. We have Fedekin. We have to, oh, he tries oh, to burst on it. <laughs> he gets caught by Fedekin. Nice conversion there from Picano. Using light screen on wake up is Oki option here. Now oh, he gets for it again. again. Wow, and Jolts does not know how to deal with that yet. Fully charges his counter on Jolts' JX. Jolts does have synergy buff here, but he's still only at 27 health. So a lot more damage. There's the fully oh, charged goodness. counter on the Iron Tail. Wow, Picano took that convincingly. Yeah, what a commanding round for Picano right there.
Very few damage taken from his end. He was just able to... I mean, he himself was taking a page out of Jolt's book. He's like, what if I just use CA a ton? <laughs> it happened to make it work in my favorite. There it is again. CA's the armor dive kick. There's a, there's a light screen. We're going to 8x. We're going to jump back. Throw some fireballs. Go for another. And here's the cycle. Oh, throws up for Boomerang. It gets JY wide in. There's going to be conversion from Jolt's here. Some really good damage. Oh, yeah. Wow, Pika's a monster. All right, we got a burst activation here. Throwing out projectiles. What, uh, breaks is good. It tries to punish Ooh. the DX with a grab, and then whips the grab, goes for a counter, and Jolts is able to react to his own grab. The counter is running a little bit low on health. He's a pretty solid lead for Jolts. Now he's also in burst and has Jirachi up. There's a burst activation from Picano. Is it gonna hit? Nope. Jolts is holding block here. Picano, however, does have Fennekin on deck. He's gonna hold block on that. Here's the, uh, here's the uh, Fennekin pop. Jolts is gonna hold block himself. There's a Thunderbolt that oh, low to man. the ground is able to catch him and convert with these projectiles. Tries to JA in. Jolts tries to grab. He jumps Ooh. over the counter attack with Iron okay. Tail. Now here we are, game three, one, one in rounds. This is oh, it. Jesus, what final a round. Close set here. Oh, there's gonna be a crit jump in from uh, Jolts there. It's gonna do some decent damage already. Pops Jirachi oh, right off the, the bat. Own. He ejects, but no confirm there. But he hits him with a boomerang, goes for a light screen, but he's gonna get burst. Activation is gonna uh, pierce that armor on light screen. There's a Volt Tackle. Oh, that damage. Oh, we got Fennekin Pop. He's gonna go for the Fennekin Punish. He doesn't oh, get right. it. Doesn't get the timing right there with his burst. He's actually gonna get hit out of it. There's a fully charged counter from Picano again, but he's gonna get punished with the Pika side when Picano doesn't have meter just yet. Tries to go for a jump in, but Jolts reacts with a Volt Tackle. Picano's in a really rough spot right now. Gonna have 70 to go hell, first. he's gonna have to pop burst here, but Jolt perfect blocks it, gets a homie attack in, and that's going to be it. Jolts takes that set over Picano 2-1. What a fantastic perfect block there. I do not think Picano was expecting that because he went for an option himself right there, and Jolts just sped right in and took that. Amazingly wow! Done. Incredible set there oh, from these guys. Oh, jeez. These sets. Oh, man, I am not ready for this tournament today. <laughs> oh, they said.